Today we're going to talk about where they put your stuff and phone once you get to basic training. But without further ado, let's get to it. What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video and like I just said, we're gonna be talking about what happens to your stuff and your phone, you know, like your duffel bag, whatever whatever you brought with you to basic training, right? Because you're not gonna get to have that the entire time with you at basic, they're gonna go put it somewhere secure and we're gonna talk about that, where they put your phones and when you get those items back, all right? Hit me up on my Instagram, it's the best possible place to reach me, to get a hold of me, drop a follow, send me a DM, I'll try to get back to you within a week. I also have a Twitch down below, so if you want to check me out play and see me play like Zelda Pokemon uh, follow me on there as well and uh, be sure to like this video guys it really really helps us out and most importantly we're trying to hit a hundred K subscribers in the next six months I need you all's help to do that it takes two seconds to hit the subscribe button guys please smash it show the love uh, for all this basic training content army content that we're putting out here and uh, with all that said let's go ahead and jump straight into the topic where do they put your stuff right uh, you, there's gonna be like two phases to this pretty much reception and basic training so reception right you're gonna get there you probably would have left from your maps you're either gonna fly take a bus whatever it is to your reception location uh, typically whatever base you go to reception isn't too far from where your actual basic training is gonna be right so you'll show up there it's gonna be whatever hour you get there I got there at night because mine was gonna be in Fort Sill Oklahoma uh, we had to take a uh, flight over there. Uh, it was a good time, right? So you get there and you're gonna have a whole little like in brief type of thing They're gonna tell you what to do what not to do You're gonna have your amnesty hour time where you're able to throw away any contraband You might have things that aren't allowed such as like knives guns alcohol drugs all that stuff You'll be able to drop that uh, you, you drop it right then and there cool. You're good. You're safe. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you uh, And then you're gonna be going through like the initial issue type of thing this is where they give you like your PT uniforms they're gonna get you out of your civilian clothes and they're gonna give you the regular like army PTs right the black ones with the, the yellow lettering uh, it's a good time you're gonna take your civilians you're gonna put them in your bag right and what's gonna happen to your bag and what's gonna happen to your phone right so at reception depending on where you go it's a little different right my reception uh, they took our phones there and they put them in like an envelope we had to put our name you know our last three last four of our social all that stuff and they collected them and they held on to them until the end of reception and then with our bags I believe they put them in a room and also it, they might have just like had us put them in a locker because you're gonna be in a bay you put the bags in the locker you really don't need anything from them except for like your hygiene items so depending where you go they could take your bags at reception or they're just let you're gonna hold on to them uh, you just lock them away put them under your bunk or whatever because you're only at reception for about uh, four to five days just depending on how long it is right sometimes it could take a week two weeks just depending on the situations right with covid uh, now it might be a little extended but it just varies right so now you're done with reception right so what's going to happen to your stuff right well one if they took your bags and they put them up they're going to give them back to you you're going to be able to take them with you to your basic training location uh, if you had them under your bunk or in your locker cool you just grab them awesome same with the phones uh, they're either going to give you your phones and they're going to tell you not to touch them not to open them out of the envelopes right or they're just gonna transfer them from wherever they had them at reception and they're going to hand them off to your leadership whether it's gonna be your, like platoon drill sergeants whatever uh, they're gonna have access to that right so you're gonna move from your reception area and now you're going to your basic training area depending on where it is you might take a bus there or you could march there or walk there uh, they had us just carry all of our shit and just run it down to our basic training location because it was like maybe a mile 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 and a half away from the area and they were like all right wake up call right so we had to carry all of our stuff that we got issued at reception plus our civilian stuff so uh, keep that in mind you don't want to be going everywhere right and uh, now once you get to basic training uh, typically when you first get there they're gonna tell you to get your phones out from the envelope they're gonna give you a little card with your address you'll be able to put your address send a text message to certain individuals that's it they know your locations now you text your family hey I'm good I'm safe right then what they're gonna do is they're gonna give you baggies and the little baggies you're gonna put like a little info card with your name your last four roster number all that fun stuff and then they're gonna collect up these baggies right with your phones and they're gonna lock them up in a tough box right and in this tough box pretty much they're gonna keep it in their drill sergeant office so it's going to be pretty much in the 
the bay where you're sleeping, you just won't have access to them until they give you access. So like say it's Sunday or whatever, or it's like a holiday and you've earned some phone time, they'll take out this box, they'll be calling out the names from the baggies, they'll be like Alvarado, Sanchez, whatever, come get your, your phone, right? And you'll be able to be on there for you know a couple minutes however long they're going to afford you uh pro tip keep your charger in the baggie as well because you know sometimes your phones might die uh you definitely want to have a charger that way you're not faced with the dilemma of like oh my god my phone's dead and i can't use it on my phone time right so that's what happens to your phones at basic training you'll get them every so often depending on your drill sergeant's discretion and then your bags right what's happening to your civilian stuff so after you text your family hey this is my address this is where you can send me mail your drill sergeants pick up your phones and then this is where like the shake down happens kind of like the shark attack ish phase right uh, if they even still do the shark attack I know they've implemented the first 100 yards and all that stuff but uh, they'll go through your civilian stuff right they'll have you dump everything out they're gonna search through it all this stuff make sure there's no uh, contraband that you're not supposed to have right at this point this is where like if you have like any like running shoes or personal things that you're allowed to keep uh, you can take them out I highly suggest if you have running shoes take them that way you don't have to spend money there at basic training uh, the shoes they do sell there are pretty good running shoes I'm, they have like a they have Brooks it's good stuff uh, but I had my own running shoes so I was able to take them from my civilian bag and put them in my regular stuff that I was gonna be keeping with me in my duffels and all that uh, and once you do that once they shake you down once they're like okay cool there's not, nothing bad nothing illegal that you're not supposed to have you put everything back in those civilian bags and then you're gonna load them up and then you're gonna be like okay everybody file in you're gonna file into this room it was like in our company area it's like a closet pretty much and you're just stacking up all these bags duffels Duffels, backpacks, whatever, right? It's that's where your civilian stuff, documents, whatever that you're not going to need for basic training is going to be there for like the remainder of basic training. So you're probably never going to see these duffel bags until the end of basic when you're moving on to AIT and OSIT. And once you're getting ready to graduate, uh, they're going to either give you your phones like one or two, three days before your graduation. I know for us, we did really good. We cleaned all our weapons. Uh, so they gave us our phones two days before our graduation. So we were able to to have them in the bay listen to music all that fun stuff and then the day before we were shipping out to our you know AIT or OSID sites uh, they took us into the closet and we got our, our bags and we were able to keep them with us in the bay because we were supposed to have them ready with us you know for ease of access pretty much when we were shipping out the next day and that's pretty much it guys that's what's gonna happen to your phones your duffel bags if you have any other questions let me know down in the comment section below what other stuff do you feel like I should cover to help prepare you for basic training i'm here for you guys let me know again be sure to like this video guys it really really helps us out and subscribe 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 we're trying to hit 100k I need you guys to help me out it takes two seconds to smash that button i'd really appreciate it if you have any questions whatsoever hit me up on my instagram at ben underscore allen 175 best possible place to reach me drop a follow send me a question i'll try to get back to you within a week uh follow my twitch as well we play pokemon zelda on there it's a fun time i really do hope you guys enjoy it again smash that subscribe button and uh yeah i'll see you on the next one later